गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू बैक अगेन टू दिस क्लास ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर एंड टूडे वी चेकअप बी ए पार्ट सेकेंड इंग्लिश लिटरेचर पेपर वन पोइट्री एंड ड्रामा एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी टेक अप सोलिट्री रीपर ए वेरी फेमस पॉइम बाई विलियम वर्ड्सवर्थ एंड बिफोर आई कम टू give you a brief introduction of uh, solitary reaper before i come to give you a brief introduction of romanticism or a brief introduction of wordsworth himself let us sing or let us speak or let us recite the first four lines of the poem that are very beautifully composed and that can greatly uh, bring out a short of uh, you know glimpse uh, of entire romantic literature behold her single in the field yon highland yon solitary loss again i caught behold her single in the field yon solitary highland loss speaking and gently cutting and see see the melancholy strain this is the opening two lines of the poem behold her you behold means to see behold her right and the last two lines are equally uh, beautifully composed the music in my heart i bore long after it was heard no more so with this poem we can understand the entire romantic revival of literature we can understand the entire poetic theory given by wordsworth as a poet and the theorist we can understand entire humanistic approach towards literature as propagated by these romantic poets of the 18th century so friends we are privileged we are fortunate that uh, we have been able to study some of the world's greatest literature that is known as romantic literature with this literature we read wordsworth we study coleridge we study byron and the two most notable younger poets of romantic era that is p b shelley and john keats friends for a student of literature who is quite young and optimistic and full of potentiality must study the literature written by these poets not only for the sake of current of revolution within himself or to bring out a change in society particularly from his side what he wants to do and what change he wants to bring out in society from his own end when we read shelley this particular motivation takes place inside us because shelley was not interested in the present order of the world he wanted to change the whole institutions which were prevailing at that time so poetry particularly the poetry of romanticism urges for a change in society since all these you know the philosophers are never satisfied with the world with the existing order this is the main crux of philosophy this is the main crux of theory that whatever is existing is not in order this you this fact you keep in your mind whatever is in order whatever existing or that is what interests the whole humanity 
does not interest the philosophers and the thinkers so philosophy poetry wants to change the order of society wants to change the world order shelley is one of them so friends uh, not going much in detail as far as the ideology of these poets are concerned we people come to uh, have a glimpse of the background of romantic revival romantic revival could be taken you know from which particular year we take the beginning of the romantic revival in english literature this year is 1798 this is the year of the publication of the lyrical ballads a joint venture both by coleridge and william wordsworth and so that's a very famous anthology written ever in british literature and the very first poem of this anthology is rhyme of the ancient mariner written by st coleridge so friends the poets of this period fall into two groups we could divide the poets of this era into two groups the elder group so we include wordsworth scott coleridge and sade and in the younger group we include byron shelley and keats i Um, put more emphasis on shelley and keats as far as the younger students are concerned the love much the poems written by john keats the love much the poems written by shelley particularly ode to the west wind which is generally accepted and included in most of the curriculum of the universities of the schools and the uh, very last line of ode to the west wind serves a source of optimism in all of us if winter comes and we can even apply this last line to the to the present pandemic of the world when we all suffer from this disease so we all talk of when does this disease get disappeared when will it go away from us and when will we return back to the normal times or to the normalcy so friends keep in mind let us keep in our mind the most exciting optimistic slogan given by pb shelley in ode to the west wind if winter comes can spring be far behind this is the last line of ode to the west wind so the entire literature almost all the poems written by shelley written by keats are the keats's case is a little bit peculiar and different but shelley's message is clear that shelley wants to change the world right so friends there are two groups of poets the elder group headed by wordsworth and coleridge and scott scott has been very famous poet literary figure though um, in graduation syllabus we do not have any single piece of literature written by scott but i recommend scott for you i also recommend sade for you i also recommend burns uh, you know that's not exactly romantic poet but that is a precursor and what is what are these precursors i will take this topic in the next class so friends wordsworth and coleridge and sade are sometimes called the lack poets this is very important to keep in our mind they are called lake poets because they lived in the lake district you know and this lake 
district was near to west moorland and cumberland they are called lake poets you see the nature which is present in these poet in these poets is tremendous magnificent it appears that they have become one with nature just as lover and the beloved become one in the poems of john donne in the same way the poet particularly wordsworth becomes one right the edinburgh review derisively called them the lake school as their poetry struck it as startlingly different from the prevailing neo classical the younger poets were similarly attacked by the reviews for the same region for the same region for the same region but the worth of all was ultimately recognized so friends this is a short of brief introduction of the entire you know range of poets which are there so thank you very much